The lesson is all about variations. Variation problems involve relationships and formula involving one variable being equal to one term. There are four common kinds of variation. Direct, joint, inverse, and combined. Let's start with direct variations. Direct variation states that the variable y varies directly or is directly proportional with the variable x. Remember the keywords varies directly or directly proportional, which can be translated mathematically as y equals k times x, or equivalently k equals y over x, wherein k is a non-zero real number and also called as a constant of variation. It also states that the variables change at the same rate. If one variable doubles, the value of the other variable doubles. If one triples, the other triples. Like for example, if your time in cleaning is increased, then you can not only sweep the first floor of your house, but also the second. Graphically, let variable x be the amount of time and variable y be the amount of work. As x or as the amount of time increases, y or the amount of work also increases. The line passes through the origin which slope k, the constant of variation. Example 1. If x varies directly with y and x equals 18 when y equals 4, find x when y equals 2. First, determine the mathematical equation which is x equals k times y wherein k is the constant of variation and must not be equal to zero. Second, find the constant of variation in order to solve x. Using the equation x equals k times y, substitute the given values of x and y, where 18 equals k times 4. Divide both sides by 4, and the constant of variation is 9 over 2. Solve for x using the new equation with a computed value of proportionality constant. Using the equation x equals k times y, substitute the proportionality constant, which is 9 over 2, and the value of y, which is 2. x equals 9 over 2 times 2. x equals 9. Example 2. If f varies directly with the square of b and f equals 48 when b is 4, find b when f is 147. Just like example 1, first determine the mathematical equation, which is f equals k times b squared, wherein k is the constant of variation and must not be equal to 0. Using the equation f equals k times b squared, substitute the given values of f and b, which is 48 and 4. It will be 48 equals k times 4 squared to 48 equals k times 16. Divide both sides by 16 and the proportionality constant will be 3. Again, by using the equation f equals k times b squared, you can now substitute the value of proportionality constant which is 3 to the equation and the value of f in finding b, which is 147. It will be 147 equals 3 times b squared. Divide both sides by 3. It will result to b squared equals 49. Square both sides, then b will be positive and negative 7. Example 3. If y varies directly as x cubed, what change will be produced in y if x is doubled? Identify the mathematical equation, which is y equals k times x cubed. And it says here that if x is doubled, what change will be produced in y? So we will multiply x by 2 and then simplify it, which will result to y equals 8k times x cubed. And since the proportionality constant will be multiplied to 8, and to follow the concept of direct variation, y will also be multiplied to 8. Example 4. The number of bricks laid varies directly with the amount of time spent. If 45 bricks are laid in 65 minutes, 
determine the equation that represents the situation, and determine the time it takes to lay 500 bricks. So in this example, we have to have two answers, the equation that represents the situation and the time it takes to lay 500 bricks. We have to identify the mathematical equation, which is B equals K times T, and still K is the constant of variation and must not be equal to zero. Using the equation B equals K times T, substitute the given values of B and T, 45 and 65, which will result to 45 equals K times 65. Divide both sides by 65 to get the proportionality constant, and it will result to 9 over 13. Substituting the value of the proportionality constant, which is 9 over 13, to the equation, the new equation will be B equals 9 over 13 times T. Using the new equation, substitute 500 bricks to B, which will result to 500 equals 9 over 13 times T. Multiply both sides by 13 over 9, which is the reciprocal of 9 over 13, and it will result to t equals 13 over 9 times 500 and 6,500 over 9. t will be approximately 722 minutes and approximately 12 hours. Therefore, it takes approximately 12 hours to lay 500 bricks. Example 5. The number of gallons of fuel used on a trip varies directly with the number of miles traveled. If a trip of 270 miles required 12 gallons of fuel, how many gallons are required for a trip of 400 miles? Using the mathematical equation g equals k times m and k must not be equal to zero, substitute the given numbers of g and m, 12 and 270, and it will result to 12 equals k times 270 or 270k. Divide both sides by 270 and the proportionality constant will be 4 over 90. Substituting the value of the proportionality constant which is 4 over 90 to the equation, it will be g equals 4 over 90 times m. And substituting 400 miles to m, it will be G equals 4 over 90 times 400 and to 1,600 over 90. And G will be 17.78 gallons. Therefore, 17.78 gallons are required for a trip of 400 miles. Next, joint variations. There are situations when more than one variable is involved in a direct variation problem. It is called joint variations. The concept remains the same as direct variation except that additional variables are included in the product. Variable y varies directly with the variable x becomes variable y varies jointly with the variables x and z, which can be translated into these equations wherein k is a non-zero real number and also called as constant of variation. Note that the keyword changes to varies jointly. Simple as that, let's move on to the examples. Example 1. The variable i varies jointly as the values of p and t. If i is 1,200 when p is 5,000 and t is 3, Find i when p is 7,500 and t is 4. Just like the direct variation, first determine the mathematical equation, but this time there will be more than one variable. In this example, the equation is i equals k times p times t. Still, k must not be equal to 0. Second, find the constant of variation in order to solve i. Again, just like the direct variation, it goes the same way. Substitute the given values of i, p, and t. It will result to 1,200 equals k times 5,000 times 3 and to 1,200 equals k times 15,000 or 15,000 k. Divide both sides by 15,000 and the proportionality constant will be 4 over 50. 
and again substituting the computed proportionality constant which is 4 over 50 to the equation it will result to i equals 4 over 50 times p times t and substituting the given values of p and t in order to solve i it will result to i equals 4 over 50 times 7500 times 4 and to i equals 4 over 50 times 30,000. i will be 120,000 over 50 and simplified to 2,400. Example 2. Variable a varies jointly as the cube of s, square of d, and f. If a is 9,500, s is 5, d is 3, and f is 8. Find a when s is 4, D is 6, and F is 5. Identify the mathematical equation which is A equals K times S cubed times D squared times F. Using the equation, substitute the given values of S, D, and F which are 5, 3, and 8. It will result to 9,500 which is the value of A equals K times 5 cubed times 3 squared times 8. Simplifying it, it will be 9,500 equals k times 9,000. Divide both sides by 9,000. The proportionality constant will be 19 over 18. Substituting the proportionality constant, which is 19 over 18, to the equation, it will be a equals 19 over 18 times s cubed times d squared times f. And substituting the new values of S, D, and F to solve A, it will be A equals 19 over 18 times 4 cubed times 6 squared times 10. Simplifying it, it will be A equals 19 over 18 times 11,520. Multiplying it by 19 over 18, it will be 218,880 over 18. Then A will be equal to 12,160. Moving on to example 3. The cost C of materials for a deck varies jointly with the width W and the length L. If C is 408 pesos when width is 12 and length is 16, find the cost when width is 10 and the length is 25. Determine the mathematical equation. In this case, it will be C equals K times L times W, wherein K is not equal to zero. Solving for the proportionality constant or the K, substitute the given values of C, L, and W. It will result to 408 equals K times 12 times 16. Simplifying it, it will be 408 equals 192K. Divide both sides by 192, the proportionality constant will be 17 over 8. Substituting the proportionality constant, which is 17 over 8, to the equation, it will be C equals 17 over 8 times L times W. Substituting the values of the length and the width in order to solve C or the cost, it will be C equals 17 over 8 times 10 times 25. Simplifying it, it will be 17 over 8 times 250 and to 4,250 over 8. Then the result will be 531.25. Therefore, the cost when the width is 10 and length is 25 is 531 pesos and 25 centavos. Example 4. The value of real estate, V, varies jointly with the neighborhood index, N, and the square feet of the house, S. If V is 376,320 pesos when N is 96 and S is 1,600, find the value of a property with N is 83 and S is 2,150. Identify the mathematical equation, which is V equals K times N times S, wherein K must not be equal to zero. Substituting the given values of V, N, and S to the equation, 
in order to solve the proportionality constant, it will result to 376320 equals k times 96 times 1600. Simplifying it, it will be 376320 equals 153600k. Divide both sides by 153600, it will be 49 over 20. The constant of variation is 49 over 20. Substituting the proportionality constant to the equation, it will be V equals 49 over 20 times N times S. And then substitute the given values of N and S in order to solve V. It will be V equals 49 over 20 times 83 times 2150. Simplifying it, it will be 49 over 20 times 178,450. And it will be 8,744,050 over 20. The result is 437,202.50. Therefore, the value of a property with N is 83 and S is 2,150 is 437,202 pesos and 50 centavos. For the last example for the joint variations, for a given interest rate, simple interest varies jointly as principal and time. If 2,000 pesos left in an account for 4 years earns interest of 320 pesos, how much interest would be earned in if you deposit 5,000 pesos for 7 years? The mathematical equation will be I equals K times P times T, wherein I is the interest, P is the principal, and T is the time, and K is the proportionality constant, which must not be equal to zero. Substituting the given values of I, P, and T to the equation in order to solve the proportionality constant, it will be 320 equals K times 2000 times 4. Simplifying it, it will be 8,000K equals 320 and dividing it both sides by 8,000, the proportionality constant will be 1 over 25. Substituting the solved proportionality constant, it will be I equals P times T over 25. Substituting the values of P and T in order to solve I, it will be I equals 5,000 times 7 over 25. Simplifying it, it will be I equals 35,000 over 25. And the answer will be 1,400 pesos. Therefore, if you deposit 5,000 pesos, you will earn an interest of 1,400 pesos in 7 years. Inverse Variations Meanwhile, inverse variation states that the variable y varies inversely or is inversely proportional with the variable x. Remember the keywords varies inversely or inversely proportional, which can be translated mathematically as y equals k over x or equivalently k equals y times x, wherein k is a non-zero real number and also called as constant of variation. In this situation, as the variable x increases, the variable y decreases, and the reverse is also true. This situation is justified by Boyle's law, wherein at constant temperature, the pressure and volume of the gas have an inverse relationship. The graph is a curve that never touches either axis. Example number one for inverse variations. If P varies inversely as Q and P is 3 when Q is 4, find P when Q is 16. Just like the two preceding variations, first determine the mathematical equation. But this time, the mathematical equation is different. In inverse variations, the mathematical equation is a variable is equal to K, which is the proportionality constant, over another variable. In this example, the mathematical equation is P equals K over Q, and K must not be equal to zero. Second, find the constant of variation in order to solve P. Using the equation P equals K over Q, substitute the values of P and Q, which is 3 and 4. 
it will result to 3 equals k over 4. Multiply both sides by 4 in order to get the k. It will be k equals 4 times 3. So, the constant of variation is 12. Solve for p using the new equation with a computed value of proportionality constant. So, substituting the proportionality constant, which is 12, to the equation, it will be p equals 12 over 16. Simplifying it, it will be p equals 3 over 4. Example number 2. The number of revolutions made by a tire traveling over a fixed distance varies inversely to the radius of the tire. A 12-inch radius tire makes 100 revolutions to travel a certain distance. How many revolutions would a 16-inch radius tire require to travel the same distance? The mathematical equation for this example is T equals K over R, wherein K must not be equal to 0. Using the equation, substitute the given values of T and R, which will result to 100 equals K over 12. Multiply both sides by 12 in order to isolate the K. It will be K equals 100 times 12, and the proportionality constant is 1,200. Now, substituting the solved proportionality constant, it will be T equals 1,200 over R. Substituting the given value of R in order to solve T, it will be T equals 1,200 over 16. Solving it, it will be T equals 75 revolutions. Therefore, a 16-inch radius tire requires 75 revolutions to travel the same distance as the 12-inch radius tire. Just like what we did to example 1 and 2, in example 3, the volume V of a gas kept at a constant temperature varies inversely as the pressure P. If the pressure is 24 pounds per square inch, the volume is 15 cubic feet. What will be the volume when the pressure is 30 pounds per square inch? So the identified mathematical equation for this example is V equals K over P, wherein K must not be equal to zero. Using the equation, substitute the given values of V and P, which is 15 and 24. It will result to 15 equals K over 24. Multiply both sides by 24 to isolate the K, it will be k equals 24 times 15. So the proportionality constant will be 360. Substituting the solved proportionality constant to the equation, it will be v equals 360 over p. Substituting the given value of p in order to solve for v, it will be v equals 360 over 30. So the answer will be v equals 12 cubic feet. Therefore, if the pressure is 30 pounds per square inch, then the volume is 12 cubic feet. Example 4. The time needed to travel a certain distance varies inversely with the rate of speed. If it takes 8 hours to travel a certain distance at 36 miles per hour, how many miles per hour will it travel the same distance if must only take 5 hours? We have to solve for the proportionality constant, so using the mathematical equation which is t equals k over s, wherein k must not be equal to 0, substitute the given values of t and s. It will be 8 equals k over 36. Multiply both sides by 36 in order to get the k. It will be k equals 8 times 36, so the proportionality constant will be 288. Substituting the proportionality constant to the equation in order to solve for s, it will be t equals 288 over s. Then substituting the given value of t, which is 5, it will be 5 equals 288 over s. Multiply both sides by s in order to the s, it will be 5s equal 288 and dividing both sides by 5 in order to isolate the s, it will be s equals 288 over 5. Then the answer will be 
Therefore, if it must only take 5 hours, there will be 57.6 miles per hour. Last example for inverse variations. The radius of a cylinder of fixed volume varies inversely as square root of its height. If the height is 10 cm when the radius is 5.64 cm, find the radius if the height is 12 cm. The mathematical equation for this example is r equals k over the square root of h, which is the height. Using the equation, we have to solve for the proportionality constant. So, we have to substitute the given values of the radius and the height, which is 5.64 and 10. It will be 5.64 equals k over the square root of 10. Divide both sides by the square root of 10, it will be k equals 5.64 times the square root of 10. Simplifying the square root of 10 and multiplying it by 5.64, we will result to k equals 17.84. Therefore, the constant of variation is 17.84. Now, substituting the constant of variation to the equation, it will be r equals 17.84 over the square root of h. Now, substituting the h or the value of h, which is 12, in order to get the r, it will be r equals 17.84 over the square root of 12. Now, dividing 17.84 by the simplified value of the square root of 12, it will result to 5.15. So if the height of the cylinder is 12 cm, then the radius of it will be 5.15 cm. Next, combined variations. A situation where indirect, joint, and inverse variations are all involved is called combined variations. Combined variation states that the variable y varies directly jointly or inversely proportional with more than one variable. For example, the variable y varies directly and jointly as variables x and z and inversely as c. This statement can be translated mathematically as y equals k times x times z over c or equivalently k equals c times y over x times z, wherein k is a non-zero real number and also called as a constant of variation. Example number one for combined variations. If z varies directly with x and inversely with y, and if z is 5 when x is 2 and y is 3, find z when x is 4 and y is 2. Just like the other variations, we have to determine first the mathematical equation. This time, the mathematical equations from direct and inverse variations is already combined. So in this example, it will be z equals k times x over y, wherein k must not be equal to zero. Second, find the constant of variation in order to solve for z. Using the equation, we have to find the proportionality constant. So we have to substitute the given values of z, x, and y, which is 5, 2, and 3. So it will be 5 equals k times 2 over 3, or 5 equals 2k over 3. We have to multiply it both sides by 3 in order to get the k. So it will be 2k equals 5 times 3. And divide both sides by 2 in order to isolate the k. The result will be 15 over 2. So the constant of variation in this example is 15 over 2. Then, substituting the computed proportionality constant, which is 15 over 2, to the equation, it will result to z equals 15x over 2y. So now, substituting the given values of x and y in order to solve for z, it will be z equals 15 times 4 over 2 times 2. It will be 60 over 4, and the final answer will be 15. Example number 2. The time needed to paint a fence varies directly with the length of the fence and indirectly with the number of painters. If it takes 5 hours to paint 200 feet of fence with 3 painters, how long will it take 5 painters to paint 500 feet of fence? So the mathematical equation for this example will be t, which is the time, 
equals k, which is the proportionality constant, times L, which is the length of the fence, over N, which is the number of painters. So using that equation, T equals K times L over N, substitute the given values of T, L, and N in order to get the proportionality constant. It will be 5 equals K times 200 over 3, or 5 equals 200K over 3. We have to multiply both sides by 3 in order to get the k. It will be 200k equals 5 times 3. Divide both sides by 200 in order to isolate the k. It will be 3 over 40. So the constant of variation will be 3 over 40. Substituting the computed proportionality constant, which is 3 over 40, to the equation, it will be t equals 3 times l over 40n. Then substituting the given values of l and n in order to solve for the t, it will be 3 times 500 over 40 times 5. Simplifying it will be 1,500 over 200. So the final answer will be 7.5 hours or 7 hours and 30 minutes. Therefore, it will take 7 hours and 30 minutes for 5 painters to paint 500 feet of fence. Example number 3. The current I varies directly as the electromotive force E and inversely as the resistance R. If a current of 38 amperes flows through a system with 18 ohms resistance and force of 120 volts, find the current that a 200 volt will send through the system if the resistance remains the same. So in this example, the mathematical equation will be I, which is the current, equals K, the proportionality constant, times E, the electromotive force, over R, which is the resistance. So using the equation I equals K times E over R, substitute the given values of I, E, and R to the equation. So it will be 38 equals K times 120 over 18 or 120K over 18. So we did that in order to get the K. So we have to multiply both sides by 18 in order to get the K. Then it will be 120K equals 18 times 38. And divide both sides by 120, it will be 684 over 120 or 57 over 10. So the constant of variation is 57 over 10. Substituting 57 over 10 to the equation, it will be I equals 57E over 10R. So we have to substitute the given values of E and R in order to solve for I, which is the current. It will be I equals 57 times 200 over 10 times 18. Simplifying it, it will be 11,400 over 180, and the final answer will be 63.33 amperes. And now for example 4, to build a sound wall along the highway, the amount of time T needed varies directly with the number of cement blocks C needed and inversely with the number of workers W. A sound wall made of 2,400 blocks using 6 workers takes 18 hours to complete. How long would it take to build a wall of 4,500 blocks with 10 workers? So the mathematical equation for this example is T equals K times C over W. Using that equation, we have to substitute the given values of T, C, and W in order to get the proportionality constant K. It will be 18 equals 2,400K over 6. We have to multiply both sides by 6 in order to get the K. It will be 2,400K equals 18 times 6. We have to divide both sides by 2,400 in order to isolate the K. It will be 108 over 2,400 simplified to 9 over 200. So the proportionality constant in this equation is 9 over 200. Now substituting the computed proportionality constant, which is 9 over 200, to the equation, it will be T equals 9C over 200W or 9 times C over 200 times W. 
um, substituting the values of C and W in order to solve the T, it will be 9 times 4,500 over 200 times 10, simplified to 40,500 over 2,000. The final answer will be 20.25 hours or 20 hours and 15 minutes. Therefore, it will take 20 hours and 15 minutes for 10 workers to build a wall of 4,500 blocks. For the last example for the lesson, the volume of gas varies directly as the temperature and inversely as the pressure. If the volume is 230 cubic centimeters when the temperature is 300 Kelvin and the pressure is 20 pounds per square centimeter, what is the temperature when the volume is 138 cubic centimeters and the pressure is 30 pounds per square centimeters? So the identified mathematical equation for this example will be V equals K times T over P. V represents the volume, T represents the temperature, and P represents the pressure, while K is the proportionality constant which must not be equal to zero. So using that equation, we have to substitute the given values of V, T, and P in order to solve for K. It will be 230 equals 300K over 20. So we have to multiply both sides by 20. It will be 300K equals 230 times 20. Divide both sides by 300. It will be 4,600 over 300 or simplified to 46 over 3. So the proportionality constant will be 46 over 3. Now, substituting the proportionality constant to the equation, it will be V equals 46 times T over 3 times P. And substituting the given values of the V and the P in order to solve for T, it will be 138 equals 46 times T over 3 times 30. It will be 138 equals 46 T over over 90. So we have to multiply both sides by 90 in order to get the t. It will be 46t equals 90 times 138 and dividing both sides by 46 in order to isolate the t, it will be 12,420 over 46 and the final answer will be 270 Kelvin.